Today in the shop, we're building shelves with hidden clothes hangers for a customer's laundry room. Our customer would like a set of shelves to go above the washer and dryer. She's got extra space up there and, and needs storage in a, in a little laundry room. So basically what we're going to do is two sets of shelves. And uh, the one shelf is just going to be a static shelf. The other shelf is actually going to have built-in um, drawers, if you will. But the drawers won't have a bottom. They're just going to have a uh, piece of one-inch dowel rod so that she can pull them out and hang clothes as she's pulling them out of the dryer. We're going to build a 2 by 4 frame and then we're going to clad that in, in a 3 quarter plywood and it's going to go into a corner so we're going to have two sides that are exposed and those sides are going to be white oak and then the whole thing is going to get a medium brown stain and some polyurethane. A regular 2 by 4 is kind of rounded and, and rough so what I did was I actually got a 2 by 8 ripped these down so I have nice flat square edges and tight corners. We're going to have one at each end and then I'm gonna have them in the middle as shown on the plan. I've already figured out my spacing, so I've cut myself a spacer board, which I'm gonna use just to make sure everything's correct. So what I like to do is uh, I like to pre-drill before I set a screw, because that way, um, if you don't pre-drill and the screw goes through one piece of wood into another, it tends to shift that second piece of wood one way or the other, and it, and it's just very aggravating. So we've got our end piece, now I've got my spacer cut. I'm gonna slide that in. The next one goes in to the edge of the spacer, making sure it's flush to the top. Looks like I got into a bit of a knot there, so. Also another good idea for pre-drilling is if you have a knot Okay, I'm gonna keep, uh, keep setting these pieces of two by four, and then we're gonna start thinking about putting some plywood on it. So this, um, this is gonna be the shelf. I'm gonna get the shelf out of the way real quick. Um, the top needs to be removable so that the contractor at the house can remove it and lag bolt through this two by four into the wall to secure the shelf, since it's only actually attached to uh, the two walls. So I've already cut my plywood. I need to put screws in the top to make it removable, but I don't want to put too many. I'll just put enough, you know, to get it square. Remember, everything is a hammer, except a screwdriver. That's a chisel. This will be where the drawers will slot in. I have these drawer slides coming in here, like so. So while I have the, um, the frame open like this, I'm just gonna take a quick measurement for the width of my drawers. I'm gonna have two drawer slides, one on each side. So what I'm gonna do is just place them up against the two by four and run a tape from them to the edge here. And that looks like 23 and 3 eighths. That measurement is going to be the width of the drawer. Basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a four-sided drawer with no bottom and that dowel rod in the middle. So now we're gonna put the bottom on. So the bottom, my good side up, I'm gonna attach with some uh, 16 gauge brad nails. And I'm also gonna glue it. This is tight bond glue, they guarantee this stuff that it will not separate. If it does, I don't know what they do for you. Maybe they send you a free Happy Meal or something, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> so put this on there. So you always wanna work from one end to the other. So that way you can work the bow out. Again, everything's a hammer, except a screwdriver, which is a chisel. Chisel, thank you. <laughs> Spot on, mate. And now we see what we're gonna have to deal with with the, uh, with the drawers. We're gonna put this to the side and we'll start working on the drawers. Just because I don't trust anything, I'm 
I'm gonna measure all these openings just to make sure they're the same. Measure twice and then measure two more times. Checking for square. Square is good, round is not. It's all coming up roses. Now I need a measurement for the depth. Basically what's gonna happen is the drawer will end here and then we'll put white oak drawer fronts on it. So the drawer front will actually hit on both sides of these. So our drawer actually only has to come out to the edge of the plywood here. Just to give myself a little wiggle room, I've got nine and three quarters. I think I'll make the drawers about nine and a half because they don't necessarily have to go all the way back. bit of space on the bottom, a little bit of space on the top. It's going to be flush with the front. We got a little bit of space in the back just for play. Now we're going to figure out where our front and back is going to be. Let's not forget the drawer slides. They're also going to be in there too. Looks like our measurement is 21 and 15 sixteenths. Just basic math. The stuff you never said you use in high school. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Dell. Everything's a whacker. In every episode. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we get our our drawer set up. Now we need to drill for the um, dowel rod whacker. So we got ourselves a nice little spade bit with an extension. We're gonna come through here and into here, but we're only gonna go about halfway through this wood and. Uh, We'll cut it flush here and the, and the oak will capture it up here. So right now we just need to find our center, so to speak. So we got 23 and 3 eighths, half of that is pop quiz. Uh, 11 and a half and 3 sixteenths is uh, eight, nine, two, 11 sixteenths, uh, 11 and 11 sixteenths, right? Let's go with that. 11 and 11 sixteenths. Measure from the other side, see if we get it. Did I get it? 11 and 5 eighths. You are so close. In this case, we'll measure from both sides. And then both sides, 11 and 11 sixteenths. How what was I off? God, I couldn't have been off more than a sixteenth. You're off like a 30 second. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm usually way more off than that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am a certified engineering dropout. Oh, good. I'm glad we have one on staff. <laughs> Everyone needs one. <laughs> so if I'd have drilled these holes before I put this together, I could have used the force in a bit, which leaves a nice flat bottom. So now we're at the spade bit. We have to improvise sometimes, because sometimes things just don't go our way. All right. hole all the way through. We've got a bottom hole part of the way in. Now we're going to set our dowel in there so we can figure out where we're going to cut it. So that's where we want to cut it. Right there. Look at that. We're going to glue that at some point. All right, we've got all our dowels in that our, our coat hangers are going to hang on. So now we need to install our drawer slides. So I've got my drawer slides sitting inside here. Just put that in there, make sure everything works, a little dry fit. Everything looks good. So now what we need to do is center these. The way these work is they, they pull out and they extend into three pieces. This piece here will go up against the frame of the uh, piece and it will allow you to, to put screws in either of these holes. If you notice, some of these holes are oblong, which gives you a little room to uh, cheat it if it's, if it's in a bad spot. So those are the holes I like to use where I've got a little bit of wiggle room. And of course, this side will be up against the drawer. The way they come apart is there's a little switch here. You do that and it just pulls apart. And this piece I can mount to the drawer and then slide it back in and you hear it click and we're good to go again. So what I did is I, lo I located where the center was going to be and I measured from here down and I cut myself a little piece of wood to stick under there just so I don't have to hold it up the whole time. So what I need to do now is open it up and you'll notice you can move it back and forth to um, either hide or uh, show you the holes. So what I need to do here is place a mark right in the center of that oblong hole there. And what I'm going to do on this one is put one right here. That's going to be my second screw. That'll lock it into place. So in order to get the screw to uh, not walk around, or the drill bit to not walk around, which basically means that you know, when you start to drill, it, sometimes it moves to the side or up and down, and the screws do the same thing. I'm gonna use a center punch to just put a little hole in the wood, and that'll allow the drill bit to find its home, if you will, and it won't walk around on us. A little hole. So we put our piece back in. Get our screw. There we go. That's one draw slide installed. We're going to take off this piece again, just like that. We're gonna, this is going to be the front of our drawer. So what we need to do is find the center. We need to find the center of this. Because we want this to sit just slightly above the base so that it's not sliding on this wood or hitting the top, if you, if you follow me. 
So we're looking at three and a quarter inches, so our center would be an inch and five eighths. So that's a little mark there. Do another one at inch and five eighths there. Make myself a nice straight line. My combination square. Okay. Now I can take this, this is the front, so this is gonna be flush with the front of our drawer. So I can put that there and I can see the line which allows me to visually center it. And I'm gonna use these oblong holes again in case I need to move this thing up or down. Again, I'm gonna use my punch and drill. My screws are only a half inch long. So I've got three quarters of an inch of plywood and probably a sixteenth of an inch of metal, so I don't run any risk of popping through on the other side. Let so me put this back on. We flush this up with the front. Install a screw. I'm gonna tighten that all the way because I want to do a little adjustment before I lock it in. Make sure that my front's flush. Make sure I'm seeing the lines in the center of the holes I can see. There we go. Now we have to repeat that same process on the other side. we've got both sides of our drawer slide installed and we're just going to put it back in and test the function. Give that click. There we go. If you'll notice the front is now flush. It slides out correctly. We've got space at the bottom. We've got space at the top. I think we did it. Drawer slides can be a real, real headache sometimes, but if you just follow these simple steps and you use little jigs and, and little cheats, you know, it makes it a whole lot easier for you. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some of this white oak, cut it down to a little less than five inches. If your plywood isn't exactly three quarters, so it ends up being just a hair below five. So we'll cut it down to that and plane it down to three quarters of an inch and I'll start setting up the drawer fronts. I cut it at about five and a half.
a drawer front. How easy is that? I can do it. It's gotta be easy. We got center, quarter, quarter. We're ready to uh, do some light sanding and uh, figure out our stain. Black dog shell game. All right, which one did I put my pencil in? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> So I finished up the fabrication and uh, the drawer fronts went on and I had the static shelf, I made that to look exactly like the drawer fronts. Just left a little space here and there. You'll notice that I cut all these out of the same piece of wood. That way I could keep continuity with the grain. I did that on both. Turned out really nice. So we gave it a good sanding about to 180 and then I uh, stained it with Minwax English chestnut and uh, rubbed that off and clear coated it with a, uh, a nice satin polyurethane. I like the way the, the grain runs together. I like the fact that the two shelves look the same. And this one will stack, you know, in the, in the laundry room, will stack above this one here. And, uh, and it turned out really nice. I mean, just pull these out, hang your laundry on there, got some more laundry. I think it's a really cool look, really cool idea.